In 1979, an Indiana farmer suffered a spinal cord injury. He asked Purdue's Ag Engineering Department to help him build something to modify his tractor that would allow him to continue farming. It was after this farmer's request that the Breaking New Ground Resource Center was formed. Since then, the group has helped 500 people, mostly farmers, who have suffered serious injuries get back to their farm and back to work. In tonight's Heroes Among Us, meet one White County farmer who says without the help of B&G, life as he once knew it would be over. I was trying to insulate my shop and uh, had a skip of snow that morning. I'd done chores, come in here, put up one piece of insulation where that sign's at, come back down, got my tape measure, went back up, was measuring the second piece, and I felt something. I looked down, the ladder was sliding on me, running. It was just another day on his farm when Keith Morgan suffered such serious injuries, walking, let alone farming, may never happen again. When his ladder slipped, Morgan fell 16 feet, landing on his left foot first, crushing bones in both ankles so severely, doctors spent six hours in surgery trying to piece the bones back together. We went from being trying to adopt to have a family to... Gosh, I don't know if I'll walk again. I don't know if I'll ever farm again. Brackets and several screws secured both ankles. Four months and hours of therapy later, Morgan walked again in time for the county fair. But even as his ankles healed, Morgan knew farming would still be the biggest challenge. That's when Steve Swain, with Breaking New Ground, helped Morgan modify his equipment to make working easier. We walk around the farm, uh, take pictures, uh, see what's there. We talk about the different accommodations. Yep, it's a sweet adventure. Swain helped Morgan secure around $15,000 in state and federal grant money to accommodate his equipment, installing a lift on his combine, wider steps with a handrail on his tractor, and circular steps one foot wide around the grain bin so Morgan doesn't have to flex his ankle. I'm done. I might as well die, basically. I've heard that from several. And then we start looking at at ideas. We look at the lifts, automatic hitching, and you see the demeanor change. It's like flipping a light switch. Now I can ride a lift, so that's 20 times less. My ankle's got to flex, and it's going to feel better at 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night when I quit, so it makes my day go longer. Morgan says since his fall in 2005, his life has come full circle. He and his wife, Patricia, were finally able to adopt their son, Weston David, from Guatemala. W.D. is three years old, and Morgan is still working on his farm. That's what the job's all about, because you're giving hope. You're saying, yes, you can do this. And we want to hear from you. I'm always looking for people going above and beyond to be featured as part of our Heroes Among Us series. If you know of anyone who you think we should highlight, you can send an email to me at heroes at WLFI.com. Well, that's a neat program. It is. I know, it really Get is. people back to work. Exactly. They're doing a lot of great work. Lots of wind to talk about tonight. Yeah, you can hear the wind. <laughs> you know, <laughs>